Welcome everyone. This is your favorite entertainment show, the Hanging Out TV show, airing live from here at NTA2 in Lagos. My name is Yetinde Aremo, and of course, we have a fully packed and entertaining, sh entertaining show for you today. First and foremost, we have some guests in the house, exclusive guests, guys, and you're going to enjoy chatting, out, chatting with them and hanging out with them. Of course, we have music, we have comedy, and we have lots of other entertaining things packed and in store for you. In the studio with me here today, I have an upcoming artist. He's a singer, songwriter, and he's a performer as well. He's just coming up, and he's new in the game. His name is Emeka. Ob Collins Obilo, welcome to Hanging Out TV Thank Show. You. Uh, by the way, he's known as E C O, and that is double E. Yeah, one C. One C, double E, e then O H. That's his stage name. So E C O, welcome to Hanging Out TV Thank Show. You. It's so nice to have you here. So, um, tell me, you know, the fans. You, I know you already have a fan base because you've been singing for a while, actually. Yeah. So, tell me, what's your story like? When did you start? Okay, um, I started at the age of 12, oh. yeah, singing in church, yeah, um, I recall the first day I sang, I actually cried. Oh! Yeah, on stage, <laughs> and some persons came out to spray money in church. Oh! I was like, because I sing with so much emotion when I sing. I what made you cry, though? Was I it? don't know, it's a South African song. You know, my way to something like that. So I was so into the song, I cared less about I actually cared less. Oh, that's good. So you basically was like a soulful performance yeah. where you were just in your feelings exactly. afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. So um, from when you were 12, when you started to sing, what, what, what did your family have to say? Were they supportive or were they like, no, 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 <laughs> you go to school first? Okay, well, funnily enough, my mom sings. Okay. So my mom does the chores at home and she's singing, literally. Oh. She's cooking, she's singing, okay. she's driving, she's singing. She's <laughs> so I feel my mom was just like, okay, I think it's just me and him. Okay. You know, okay. it's just me and him. So, so. how did you combine um, singing with going to school? Mm. How did you do that? Okay, so interestingly, when I got into school, mm. um, I was in the choir. I'm still in the choir, by the way. So um, in the university, in my 200 level, I was made the music director. Of, of a school choir? Of my school choir. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So everything just... Has just been like you know, building up. You know, the music thing just keeps coming around. So are you done with school now? Yeah, two years ago. Two oh, years ago. congratulations. Thank you. So now that you're out of school and you're now doing this professionally and taking it more serious, um, what are your plans, basically? For music now what, what 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 should we expect okay um i would say you guys should expect something something new okay okay something new something unique something that's going to last for a very long time oh, okay that's good yeah so um uh i was uh, looking through your profile and i saw that you basically signed up for a new challenge mm -hmm. that is supposed to come up soon tell us about that let me i want you to do this to okay. tell you. let me not tell everyone <laughs> okay yeah okay so um so i saw this and i was like okay um singing singing thing i love singing um i basically do my vocal as house every morning when you wake up every morning so I you wake just up, you, you do would the wake up control okay do the and all that ah, yeah, and so then you'd sing then for I'd how long sing. how long does it take um i do 10 minutes because the tree is like a practice like a usual practice so 10 minutes i do my warm-ups 10 minutes i do my breath control okay. i've been doing this for a long time okay okay so um i saw this i love singing passionate about singing and obviously i was in the church starting the church so i saw a setting challenge I saw a certain challenge in church, and I noticed that, come on, most choristers in church, they tend to leave the church after a while. Mm. And I'm like, okay, why do they leave the church? Maybe they go for Project Fame or MTN, whatever, whatever. And they tend to tell you, okay, they want to sing about love, sing about national issues, sing about money and its vices. Mm. And they, they, like, they can't combine all this in church. But I saw it as a challenge, I said, no, come on, in the church, in Jesus, is everything you need. <laughs> yeah, it's everything. In him is love. He talked about love when he wept at the tomb of Lazarus. He talked about money. He told Peter to open the mouth of the womb. Mm -hmm. Ta talked about he was a balanced. So I'm bringing balance into this thing and I'm telling 
choir stars i'm telling musicians that hey you don't have to leave the church to do you can still do your contemporary everything. music and still stay gospel as well i think there, there are few people who have been able to do that yes for instance now that you talked about it i'm thinking timmy straight away because yeah. timmy sings in church however he's still able to exactly. sing on social issues and national issues exactly. and that. that's great very impressive mm -hmm. so um who would you say aside your mom obviously were your influences when you were growing up musically okay. musically mm -hmm. okay so i do the role model and the mentor thing okay okay so they told us role models are closer yeah <laughs> and mentors are far away so <laughs> role models i have melvin shout out to melvin melange he's okay. been very supportive i remember when i was made the music director i ran straight to him in uniport he was still in school i was like hey melvin i don't know how to go about this i've been made and give him vocal materials to work with so, okay. shout, so yeah shout, shout out to, to you melvin. melvin yeah so <laughs> then who else chinedu guadu he oh. was an MTN project fame. Yes, 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 yes. He was God. That guy was so supportive too. He came through for me. So these are my two role models. Shout out to Chinedu Guadu too. Shout out. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> then from afar, my mentors, I have Detrick Harding. Okay. I have Jonathan Macronoid. Okay. And I listen to a lot of songs. Okay. So you pick from here and there and then, you know. Okay, that's good. So if you're just joining us, we've been hanging out with he e c o. <laughs> I call him Collins, and he's been telling us about his journey, how he started singing at 12, and how everything has just been working out one after the other for him. So I'm going to play a clip from one of his performances where he, he had a stage performance in church. And please enjoy it. Don't go anywhere, because when we come back, he has something big that he wants to announce to us. just joining us i'm sure you just caught me now dancing and doing my <laughs> face that's because i was just vibing to the song that eco was singing that was one of his performances uh, at a church program where he gave them everything could you see the way he was just doing it so passionately you can tell that he's very passionate about music so back to you eco um my question to you now is what is next for you what are you doing next is it an album or you're just going to do single 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 first before album like what should we expect really Okay, I'm going to do singles. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I have a series of singles already okay. out. It's already produced. Shout out to A1, my producer, More Wanoye. Yeah, so I was in the studio before I came to Lagos, so okay. we did a couple of songs. Okay, so I'm still going to revisit to put out. exactly. Okay. Is this out. coming before the end of the year or maybe sometimes next year? Okay, once I'm done with this Guinness stuff, then I think I'm. Yeah, the Guinness stuff. So, yeah. you guys, this man. <coughs> decided to challenge someone who has been a record holder basically since 2012 is an indian man mr sunil something oh, nice. can't pronounce it so don't let me murder it however this man has been the in the individual category of the longest singing marathon in the guinness world record he's held it since 2012 and eco has decided to run for the same, uh, what's to category, beat? Yeah. yeah, in the same category, you he wants to beat and set a new record for the longest singing marathon. What 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 made you decide to jo sign up for this? Why did you decide to join them? Okay, yeah. Um, interestingly, you know, um, for you to actually come out, you have to um, to make it easier for you. Okay, you have to have a platform. Okay. 
Okay, you don't just come out, and I don't want something. When I do stuff, I do it excellently. Okay, I, I love challenges, people that know me. So I love to go for the big stuff. Okay. So I, I think this is the big stuff, and I looked out for the big stuff. Okay, longest singing marathon. Okay, yeah, I think this is the big stuff. So I went for it quickly, and yeah. Now, Mr. Sunil Wamari, did I yeah, correct Wamari. me? I think Wamari, yeah. he sang for four days. Yeah. That's like 400 and... Like 105 hours, hours yeah. and you want to not only beat him but set a new record. Yeah. Uh, I think the real question I want to ask you is, are you crazy? <laughs> but, you <know? laughs> Can you do it though? You know, have you been practicing? What are you doing to practice to get into that headspace? Okay, yeah, actually, I'm I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah <laughs> obviously. <laughs> okay, so um, we've done the five days plus sometime last year. Because, oh. yeah, we did it five days plus. Okay, so you've rehearsed this before, yeah, you've tried it, tried so you're it. sure that you can beat this yeah. person. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, and, and you know, talking about platforms, if you, you're able to do this and you make the official attempt and you're successful, that's yeah. it, you're launched. Like, everybody right. is going to be Boom. talking about you. I like your strategy. <laughs> you're a smart man. So, um, if um, and when, and I really do hope you're able to to set the new record. Mm -hmm. If and when you do this, um, going from there, what what's your plan? Okay. Again, I, um, I also want to know, <clears throat> and this is the Ibo girl in me talking. Mm -hmm. Are they going to give you money when you win? <laughs> 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 okay, so this is actually going to be more than money. Okay. Okay, so endorsements, okay. brands are coming after you already. Okay. okay. Your name gets into the book, and I think there are some stipends. And the, oh. Yeah, oh. I think there are some stipends. In Ch so, yeah. Are you sure I should not enter for this thing and see <laughs> if I can do it? Yeah, I'm just joking. I can't even mm -hmm. sing for <laughs> to save my own life. <laughs> it's been nice chatting with you, and thank you for coming on the show. So, mm -hmm. um,. This uh, Guinness uh, World Record event, are they going to come or are you going to a certain place to go and do it? What, 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 what's it going to be like? Because I remember when Kafi did the longest dancing, uh, dan mm, dance dance on. Yeah. Yes, they, I think they came to observe while she did it. Mm -hmm. And then the other guy, there were, we have a few Guinness, wo Guinness World Record mm -hmm. people in mm -hmm. entertainment. There was this guy who did the longest. Um, reading aloud challenge yeah, as well who yeah, recently earlier yeah, in the year so and yeah. i think they came to record that so what's yours going to be like are you also going to are they coming to record or what, what's it like okay yeah so they give us um two options they send to your email tell mm -hmm. you to have them come down or you do a recording video coverage photography evidence and you forward it to them because they give you um, an email slot kind of so where you just send your evidence Okay, so and then the review, you yes, know if you... exactly. So, yeah. Okay, that's good. This is very, very interesting. So, um, for people who want to keep up with you, know when this thing is happening, mm -hmm. and follow up with you and support you, how, how do we find you on all your um, social media handles? Okay, yeah, on all my social media platforms. I'm live on at E E C E E O H. All of them. Facebook, so Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter yeah. everything. Yeah. All right. So you had the young man. He has big dreams, I dare say. And I really, really genuinely hope he, he's able to beat this record and set a new one. We'll be hanging out with ECO on the show. 